All right, everybody, welcome to a level 100 and paladin retribution talent video. We're going to go over glyphs, we're going to go over talents, we're going to go over stats for PvP and arenas and battlegrounds and what the differences and changes that you want to see as a retribution paladin in Warlords of Draenor. So to get started, we're going to make it pretty simple. We're going to go over the arena uh, selections and choices that you have and what you sh I believe you should choose and what worked has worked for me in the past. Uh, to, to begin, you obviously always want a long arm of the law, whether it is in Battlegrounds, Arena, whatever you are doing. If you are a Retribution Paladin, the amount of times you use Judgment, long arm of the law, improving your movement speed by 45% for 3 seconds is awesome. And uh, it's very useful in PvP. And you kind of don't really need to use the other abilities. And that's just as a Retribution Paladin. That's my opinion. That's what it's always been. Uh, so moving on, in Arenas, like I said, Repentance is the best second talent on the talent tree that you can choose it allows you up to one minute of a sap is what it, uh, the ability actually is you can use it in uh, arenas against healers after applying your hammer of justice and of course they're going to trinket that thinking that's all they got so you can cast repentance and keep the healer quiet for another how, however long you get the sap for uh, it's an excellent ability for crowd control and a paladin as a paladin you get a lot of options uh, in crowd control now if you you do use repentance you are adding another ability that can help you and your team in the long run whether it be a 3v3 or 2v2 or 5v5 moving on selfless healer always needed as a retribution paladin eternal flame is more of a holy ability and so is sacred shield holier prop for these two selfless healer allows an instant cast after using all of your judgments uh, after using I think three or four judgments it is you get the ability for selfless healer and it just makes your heal instant and have uh, in increased effect on others, especially if you use it on others. But there's a plenty of passive abilities to talk about with paladins, such as the ability that if you get a kill that you know we yields honor, experience, whatever it is, you are guaranteed a crit with a heal. So if you do kill a killing blow on an enemy, have fear selfless healer proc ready and rolling. Just tap heal and you're good. You get an instant crit. You get back to 100% really easy. So that one's obviously always useful. Uh, Clemency allows your hand abilities to have two charges. Hand of protection and hand of freedom are the only two that I really use in PvP and arenas. Hand of sacrifice is another one that you can use, uh, but I just haven't used it of late. It's it's normally used in a battleground where you'll have a hunter or a uh, warlock or a mage and they're attacking your healer with their pet. You can kind of just use hand of sacrifice to take all that damage and that's a great hand to have two charges for especially. Uh, so moving on, Holy Avenger. You need Holy Avenger. It just, in, in cumbersome with Avenging Wrath, they both have a two minute cooldown. It just increases your burst immensely. Sanctified Wrath is also good. It gives you a reduced cool, uh, sorry, your Avenging Wrath lasts 50 seconds, 15 percent longer, which means 15 se more seconds, because I believe it's 15 seconds, uh, maybe even 40. Uh, and it grants you more frequent access to when your ability odds last, which is Hammer of Wrath, and the cooldown of Hammer of Wrath is reduced by 50%, which is awesome, making it 2.5 seconds. You could just use Hammer of Wrath, Templar's Verdict, Hammer of Wrath, Templar's Verdict, but that is if you have Holy Avenger. And Holy Avenger is the one you need because it gives you your Holy Power, and that's what you want. Uh, moving on to 90 talent, Execution Sentence is what you are going to use. Holy Prism is also useful in PvP, uh, but Execution Sentence just allows you kind of more consistent... Uh, burst on yourself and others if you're healing yourself or if you're damaging others. A Holy Prism kind of gives you another damage dealing ability for uh, every 20 seconds. Uh, but honestly, Execution Sentence, you can wait the minute, it's worth it. You have plenty of other abilities to use in the meantime, and I recommend it in PvP, arenas, and battlegrounds. Moving on, the level 100 talent, what we're all here for, and what you all probably skip to for. Uh, Empowered Seals is what I recommend for arenas. It gives you a little more defensive leniency and allows you uh, more survival. Uh, the best way to use uh, Empowered Seals is to apply the 15% haste increase, which is the stat that you really want as a Paladin, and then immediately moving over to your Seal of Truth to kind of increase your attack power and damage. So you have speed and you have damage uh, dealing numbers, and it's an excellent, excellent ability to use in PvP and arenas because you are constantly, constantly dealing damage. And there is a proc from Divine Storm, which is a great proc. Uh, but Empowered Seals, Moving on to the defensive aspect of it, if you are in trouble, say your health is low, you need some healing, you have your execution sentence cooldown off, so you're good, you can use execution sentence, and seal of insight is available. You put that on one macro, you pop your divine protection, your uh, versatility trinket and all that, and then you apply execution sentence to yourself, you'd be 
you just heal so much to yourself uh, with the heal of insight with the sorry the insight judgment and the execute sentence on yourself it just gives you more survival while in the meantime you're taking less damage especially if you've dealt damage with Templar's verdict and you apply divine protection it's awesome so this empowered seals just kind of allows you a lot to do uh, not to mention the increased speed of seal of judgment for 20 seconds you get 20 percent increased movement speed and you get a three second burst of 45 percent with long arm of the law so it just adds up in unison as it could be a gap closer or it could be a peel of movement that you could just use to kind of you know get away or whatever the case may be and it's awesome uh, so let's move on to a battleground ability and now for battlegrounds there's a little more going on you really want to deal kind of more damage for yourself uh, not to say you don't want to play with your team but you do want to have kind of more consistent abilities that don't require as much button pressing in battlegrounds because you don't have as much focus there's so much going on in the battleground you can't really you don't really have the time to like target a healer and repent him uh, so you kind of want that 30 second hodge the 20 yard range it makes it incredible it's easy to use, gives you 10 more yards on your stun, and it decreases the cooldown by uh, half the time, so you get it more frequently. It's awesome. So these are the only two really things that changes, by the way. Level 100 talent, Seraphim. I recommend Seraphim. Final Verdict is useful. 10-yard um, range kind of is added to your Templar's Verdict. That's essentially what it does. And then it gives your Divine Storm proc, which already gets an increase by 50% damage in the new expansion uh, as, as a proc. If you get that same proc with Final Verdict, you increase the radius of Divine Storm and another 100% damage. So you're getting a, a technically 150% uh, improvement on your Divine Storm, which gives you, again, more incentive to use Divine Storm. I do like Final Verdict, but it's not your best option. I think Seraphim it's, gives you a little more defensive ability. It doesn't require too much uh, other than waiting and being patient. <laughs> That's the only negative downside to Seraphim. Let's put Seraphim here. And now I'm going to get my proc for Seraphim real quick and I'll show you guys what it does alone and now alone you get it for 15 seconds kind of like a mini holy avenger uh, avenging wrath you get it for 15 seconds increases all of your stats by a thousand that are useful for a retribution paladin and it's kind of awesome because you just deal so much damage in a quick burst and not to mention you have the defensive ability given to you by bonus armor and versatility you can't really ignore that and it's an awesome awesome ability the only negative thing again is getting that five holy power available to you and now when, in, when used in unison with your avenging wrath uh, ability and your versatility trinket seraphim becomes even more useful because you see here we pop our avenging wrath holy avenger our seraphim is active you just you just start dealing huge numbers your ability it, it's incredible honestly and I, that's why i recommend it for uh... for pvp uh, in battlegrounds just gives you a little more uh, freedom of movement and the only defensive ability other than if you were using empowered seals and BGs which you can go ahead and try I just recommend it for arena but Seraphim is awesome for battlegrounds uh, consistent damage and it just again allows you some awesome movement alright so that's it for talents that's all I really have to say I'm not really gonna try out final verdict if you'd like me to actually I'll just do that really quick why not why not show you final, uh, final verdict and what it does alright let's go over final verdict now all right, here we go. So final verdict. Again, it's essentially like Templar's verdict. You need three holy power. You cast it. You get 10-yard range, which is awesome. Uh, you have the your next uh, Divine Storm that you use. Again, something I would even wait until you get that Divine Storm proc available because then you get the whole thing. And after you use Templar's verdict, just pop Divine Storm. You get 100 yards more range and 150% increase on your damage. Again, there's more incentive to use Divine Storm. Not something that I'm really as interested in as increasing like incredible burst damage at one time. Uh, Templar's verdict kind of gives you more boost in regards to consistent damage. But I'm all a fan for the Seraphim, and it's just something that I like a little more. So that's it for the. Uh, talents guys let's move on to glyphs glyphs are basically simple same since mop use your divine protection because and split and it splits your physical and magic damage instead of giving you just the 40 percent reduced magic reduction uh, you are not always fighting a magic class so when you're fighting someone who deals physical damage you want that 20 percent physical damage reduction and it helps immensely and it's something that you just want to use because you want to use as many defensive abilities as you can as a paladin because you're not really given that much as a retribution paladin other than divine protection so adding glyphs will definitely help you and versatility of course 
The second one is the Glyph of Templar's Verdict, which is again another defensive Glyph. Take, you take 10% less damage for 6 seconds after dealing damage with Templar's Verdict or Exorcism, and those two, mo those two abilities are something that you're always going to be using, so you are essentially taking 10% less damage over time for a, an extended period of time, and cumbersome with Divine Protection, your Versatility Trinket, you get a lot of damage reduction, and it is totally worth it. So that is that for those two, and Burden of Guilt can never not have burden of guilt judgment hits fill you your target with doubt and remorse whatever reducing movement speed by 50 50 percent for two seconds so in combination with long arm of the law and if you're in arena empowered seals and your seal of justice you are always moving fast you always have freedom of movement and a hand of freedom obviously is something that you want to use you always have freedom of movement and you're slowing them down it's the only gap closed you really get as a paladin you want to maximize that to its maximal efficiency burden of guilt long arm of the law and empowered seals will do that for you so that is it for glyphs i have my minor glyphs the winged vengeance just get four wings instead of two i have slow fall on my avenging wrath because i like it and i get a uh call down fire from the sky with my hammer of wrath and judgment every once in a while uh, so that, that's that for talents guys talents and glyphs let's move on to statistics in statistics you have your haste haste is something that you always want to increase obviously along with strength but for a bonus statistic you want to have haste i know i have mastery here somewhere a lot of the time just because there's some uh, items i have that uh just haven't been able to get the haste for so you want to increase your haste as much as possible because it just makes casting spells a lot easier and it gives you kind of more burst in a faster period of time. Uh, mastery isn't as significant for a paladin as it would be for another class, so you want to use haste, especially with spell casting with your heals and so on. Uh, and the other ability, uh, sorry, the other statistic that I like is versatility. Versatility increases your damage and healing done by whatever percentage you have and decreases your damage taken. So again, another defensive opportunity and it gives you some offensive ability in regards to dealing a lot of damage. Now let's see, actually, I'm kind of curious as my versatility, my versatility would look like if I, boom, pop it and then I get, boom, 7% versatility. And then all of my other abilities, and so have you. Oh, I don't have Seraphim on. That's what I was going to test. But that's all right, guys. So this is pretty much it. Your versatility and haste are what you want to up here. And that's it, guys, for talents. Remember, a little recap. Empowered Seals is what you want to use in arenas. And Repentance is what you want to use in arenas as well. Battlegrounds, I recommend Seraphim and Fist of Justice. Everything else kind of stays the same as it used to be. Uh, this is just what I like. You can try it out. Try out new things by yourself. See what you like. But that's it for Real Chance Wow. See you in the next video. It's going to be a montage for Paladin PvP. So stay tuned, guys. Love you. Bye. Break them.